Man, we got a topic for you today, man. It's been trending worldwide. Kiki Palmer, new mother, executive, movie star, singer, has been getting shamed by her boyfriend, Darius Jackson, I believe his name is. That's his name. That, that's his name? Yep. Darius Jackson, man, baby father, boyfriend, friend, confidant man is mad as hell and is going online and going off on kiki palmer for wearing a very sheer dress with a thong on and then she went to an usher concert man and kind of showed out with usher flirted a little bit with usher so this guy is all on instagram and, and twitter and everything else saying like oh you're a mom you shouldn't be dressed like this Oh my goodness, bro. Quit being a simp, bro. You got to stop being a simp so much, bro. You got to relax <laughs> a little bit. You got to relax a little bit, man. You know, like she trying to have fun. She trying to do some things or whatever. She trying she trying to enjoy herself, man. It might be a brand that's uh, supporting her, promoting her and stuff as well. Whatever. She might be promoting that stuff. So like I said, we don't know exactly what's going on, but she was kind of flirting with Usher. And you know, Usher, man, is Mr. Steal Your Girl before Trey Songz. She, you know she was stuff. all over him. Bro, like it, was it's a lot, there's a lot going on with this stuff, or whatever. Some people say, like, oh, she shouldn't have went out like that when you have a, a boyfriend, you're a mother, new mother, and other people say, Hey, like this Kiki Palmer, she's a boss, she can do what she want. Like, she's been out here in these streets or whatever, and, and she if she wanna have fun, just having that baby not too long ago, let the lady have fun. So it's two sides to the story, man. I don't know what you think about this stuff, bro. I know my wife wouldn't be out like that because okay. I'd be right there. Because I'd be right there with her, and she wouldn't right. wear no crazy junk like that for real. And then but there's that, right? It's two sides to the story, you know. So, bro, how do you feel about this situation? Now, there's three sides because it's his side, her side, and here's my fucking side. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay, I've been seeing so many different, you know, views on this. And I understand from both angles, okay? Mm -hmm. So many people are like, it's, it's her body. She can wear what she wants. She's the, the, the breadwinner. She does this. She does. All true. That's fine. Any woman has a right to wear exactly what you want. That's right. fine. Nobody can tell you otherwise. If, the hus if, you, if she was married, I think the husband would have a little bit more say in the, like, the opinion. And they would they would all turn to the decision you would make. But at the end of the day, it's your say, it's your body. You're going to wear what you want. That's fine. You should be able to do that. Anybody should be able to do that. But here's my thing. Okay. This man, Darius Jackson, when she went to that Usher concert and all that, he posted the status online. And that's the whole reason this whole thing blew up. Okay. That's the whole mm -hmm. reason this thing blew up is because he posted it and he pretty much outfit shamed her. And she's getting mom shamed and outfit shamed by her boyfriend at home with their mm -hmm. baby. Okay. This was his post, though. Let me read to you exactly what he said. He said, we live in a generation where a man of the of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase her booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Is there anything wrong with what he just said in that tweet? I don't think so, but there probably how it's interpreted. Probably how it's interpreted, though. There was absolutely nothing wrong with what this man just said. Nothing. Because we do live in a generation where everybody mm -hmm. needs to see that, and that's what gets more attention, and that's more that's more normal for women to wear that kind of shit now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Albeit right. you're right, that's fine, you can do that. But there was absolutely nothing wrong with what he said. He's exactly right in that. And feeling hot like girl, it's, a man. it's a hot girl summer, man. It's a hot girl summer. <laughs> it is. But look, <laughs> he's exactly right with that. His representation, his morals, his family, a lot of men feel that way. My, I would think myself and yourself included. But the problem is you posted it online. You made it public. This is a right. conversation you and her need to have Between via text, two. via mm -hmm. phone call, via face to face. Like this shit mm -hmm. does not need to be published. You you right. publicized it, and now you're getting ripped to shreds. Everybody's mm -hmm. just having a field day on this man, in which, yep. I mean, you kind of deserve it, bro, because if you're going to sit there and out her like that and try to shame her, like, people are going to come to her, her defense, and she's going to come to her defense, and she spoke up for herself. She stands by what she did. That's fine. That's that's gravy. I'm not, I'm not on nobody's side here. I'm just trying to call it from each, each side as I see it. You know what I'm saying? I would not like that. 
if that was my woman, I would not go for that if that was my woman. But at the same time, she can do what she wants. You're not married to her. She's perfectly free to do what she wants to do, with, albeit y'all in a relationship or not. And she wasn't cheating. She was flirting with Usher a little bit. You know, that's kind of, that's that's not even mm-hmm. really the, the biggest deal. I, I but you know, I, they've been friends for a long time and stuff that, too. They, they, she has professional and personal relationships with people like that. Right. Mm-hmm. She's, she's Kiki Palmer, man. She's going right. to interact with people in a more, you know, overly exactly. like, uh, what's the word? Friendly. I'm Friendly, in a more uh, yes, in a more in a more friendly way, more loving way than the normal person would. They're they're celebrities. That's that's how it works, man. Mm-hmm, right. And regardless of the outfit, the outfit probably would have never even. Somebody might have said a couple of things if you wouldn't have tweeted this and outed her about her outfit. Like, ooh, damn, look at Kiki, Kiki's ass is out, you know, or something. Mm-hmm. But that's the life you live when you're with a Kiki Palmer, right. bro. That's mm-hmm. the that's the world we live in. So if you can't be, you can't let that get you too upset, bro. You got to understand, like, she was her when you got with her, when y'all had the baby. You know, mm-hmm. he's, a, he's a former fitness instructor. He's not mm-hmm. nobody famous. So that's, right. that's how they live. So I'm not so saying. Basically, he, so basically what you're saying that she's Oprah and he's, and he's Stedman. So <laughs> you never hear what Stedman has to say because it doesn't matter because <laughs> Oprah is the one that's winning everything, doing everything for real. So you're pretty much saying that man need to stay in his place. That's what you're telling me, brother. I'm just saying uh, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't he shouldn't have posted that shit in front, for the whole <laughs> world to see. I'm not saying he's wrong because right. I tend to, I tend to feel the same way he would feel. I would be very upset. I, dude, I would be so livid if that was my wife. It wouldn't even be funny, bro. I would have been fucking pissed, bro. Like, <clears throat> livid. I would have been so mad. But, like, that's just the type of person I am with my wife. A lot of cats are different, you know? But my wife wasn't right. awarded nothing like that. And, and it wasn't the right. worst. Let's not, let's not act like it was the worst and, and, most revealing outfit. It wasn't right. that that bad. You could just see, like, some, some booty cheeks, you know? And he didn't appreciate mm-hmm. it. Yeah, it's a lot going on with that stuff or whatever, but you got to keep people like family business anyway. So I definitely agree with you saying that he should have gave should have gave her a call. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you need to put on a jacket or something for real because you're doing a little bit too much right now. Come on now. Even like I say, even if you didn't see it till like after the fact, whatever, like, hey, baby, come on now. Like we supposed to be a family for real. Like you want to keep your image to a high, you know what I'm saying? A higher standard, higher tier. Baby, don't do no stuff like that for real. Like respect me, respect the baby. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, that, that that's a heart to heart, not freaking for two billion people, or whatever, to get into your business. Cause exactly. everybody got to say so, you know? Exactly. And they're gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's just, that's how it works. She's a celebrity. She's famous. She's a very accomplished. She's an actor, singer. I mean, she's Kiki Palmer, man. Right. She you know? everything. So- but that, but that's that would, be, that would be the key word. If you were uh, Darius Jackson in this case, oh, baby, please don't do that to me. Don't make right. me act no fool. Don't make me do this. Don't make me. Right. I mean, I, I wouldn't have posted about it. I would have been the cat down there. I would have right. been the fucking audience. He looked down there and see me. And I should have like, been. Oh, like, oh, 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 this is what you're doing? Oh, right. <laughs> this is what you're doing? Oh, shit. He took oh, off okay, the shoes. Okay, yeah. God damn oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I know you something. tried me like that. Get <laughs> Let your me tell ass you in something. the car. I'm Get taking these glasses the off. <laughs> Usher, Usher would see me down in the fucking crowd and he would turn her away and be like, there goes his baby. <laughs> Bro, you don't want this one. Hey. I'll, I'll call Chris Brown mm-hmm. right now and we will set this shit off. For real. Had a baby in my hand. Girl, get your ass in the car. You is not playing with me like this today. <laughs> right. I got the, the babies waiting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That shit running too. What? Um, Come on, for real. We're not playing these games. Yeah, it's a respect thing, though. Definitely on both levels. So, like I say, you gotta have these conversations daily. You know, for real. Yeah, like, and- hey, if, if y'all don't know each other, like, like, cause I usually don't see Kiki Palmer wearing stuff like that. She wears very tight right. clothing, right. but nothing, nothing like, like they might have gotten an argument. It might have been anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. it could have been. It could have been anything or whatever. She might have did that stuff out of spite, you know. It, so, it, but it definitely should have been a private conversation, no matter how you looked mm-hmm. at it. But you're right. Kiki Palmer doesn't wear revealing shit like she that. don't you wear don't stuff like that, right? Not, her doing stuff like so. It, this is definitely different. But yeah, man, he's he was wrong. No matter how you look at it, he was wrong for shaming her like that. Right. He could have he could have said what he said and not shamed her. But you should have said that to her privately. This should have never mm-hmm. been leaked to the world. I know you're upset. I know you don't like it. 
it doesn't matter, man. It, it wasn't about you. It's about her going out, having a good time. She lives, she lives her life too, man. She works really hard. She deserves to have a good time. You got to support your woman. You got to let your woman go out, have a good time. You don't want her right. to go out like that. Express, express your sympathy or I mean, express your concerns to her and be just, Hey, please, sweetheart. I would appreciate it. Right. If you don't do this, then I won't have to come down there, mm-hmm. show my ass, possibly get mm-hmm. arrested. Just avoids a problem. You know, mm, so but real. we'll see what happens. They got there, there's breakup rumors with them now, so none of them is publicly spoke on if they broke up or not. So we'll have to yeah, monitor that. And see, that'd be ain't a shame no though if, that, if if that was the thing that tore them down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what everybody in your business, man. For I can have everybody in your business, and I guess yeah. you want a, a a round of applause or whatever for you being so commendable, bro. But man, you got chopped down, bro, like a little cherry tree, bro. For real, because these people do not play on these Twitters and, and all these social medias, bro. And you know the women going to stick together regardless. And she and she a mother, too. You know what I'm saying? For real. Mm-hmm. And, she, and she didn't got a little sexier since she ain't had the baby, too, whatever. So I know she feeling herself a little bit, too, because that's what mm-hmm. everybody been saying in, in, in the blogs and shit. You feel me? Like, oh, yeah, she feeling out real good. She don't look like a little girl no more. She look like more of a woman. She's 29 years old now. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, so, so she probably feeling that confidence and stuff or whatever like that and shit, too. You feel me? So... Definitely. I mean, it is. I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, I should. Be, I'd be feeling myself too if I got the fucking swamp patches removed from my face. You know, and now I'm a big movie star Ooh. and shit like that. Mm-mm. That's a big turnaround. Ooh. Boy, let loose podcast coming soon to a theater near you. 